I don't know if you take the piss or just because it's my voice. Both. Hey me. Google, what's my name? Your name is Fucktard. <laughs> 2,700. I don't understand how you can have that many. <laughs> 53 missed calls. Doesn't 53 pause. missed calls. Let's go. Don't let my mate see, but we're going to go and have sex. Was that it? You got really I was like, I was like, don't be so mean. Or just some TikTok for your income. You're a dickhead. Yes! Sit up, get yourself into the right position. Microphone in the right place. One penis length away. That would be a good reference point for you, wouldn't it? Oh, you're so funny. I am, occasionally. Quite entertaining. Let's just leave all the light on. Oh, the light is on it. Speaking to the mic. Hello, 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 hello. It's on, sound's going. Coming through nice and clear. Where are you doing? Reading an old tractor. Oh, if you have a really old tractor. It's been fantastic four days to go off. Thank you, Bondi. <laughs> It wasn't because it was created. The whole thing is entertaining. It was created. You don't like seafood, do you? You don't like mussel? I like mussels or shell foods or things like that, or prawns, but I'll eat lots of fish. Why don't you like prawns? Chewy. Because they're chewy? Yeah. They've got a particular texture. So what about mussels? They're like snot with hard hats. So no. No, that's oysters. All the same. No, they're not. Mussels also... Even if I did like mussels, it's just waste time, isn't it? Effort to reward for food in your belly. What effort do you mean? They cook like, it for you. Have a thing, dig it out, it's a tiny little piece of sliver. You could eat 4,000 and still be hungry. It's not an economic way of eating, is it? <coughs> also, they charge a fortune for it in restaurants. Not and that you much. get no food. I've seen her eat a whole barrel of them, and she can't even eat like a 20th of what I eat. Yet they want to charge 15 pounds for that meal. Sometimes the nice things do cost a bit more. Yeah, but I get more pleasure out of things that taste good and fill me up. Right, got stuff you want to talk about? Are we um, on the upcome? I know it's not that yet, but are we going to be doing a like a Halloween thing? We can do. Uh, we're going to have to talk about that because I'm away for a solid month. So we're going to have to do lots of video in between in the next 10 days or so, to be honest with you. Well, I'm away from the 9th of October to the 9th of November. So you're not even here for Halloween. No, but if we do a video of it before then, I can release it on the Halloween. So we're going to try and get something to dress up in. You're not going to have to go all out. Oh no, I, I've got. No, I mean, I, I, I've done it for the past two years. I've got a person I can be. It doesn't take much. Could you just be yourself? Would that be possible? Uh, what would you go as then? Would I go to Halloween as? I've been in the previous time. I went once as a Ninja Turtle. I was about eight years old. You're a bit big for a Ninja Turtle, but oh, eight years old, okay. I think the Ninja Turtle's quite large, in real they're life short. ones. No, no. Who said they're short? What have you seen the original film? I've seen the remakes. No, and the no. original cartoons. No, no, no. The actual film. Yeah, but I can't remember film? what reference is their height. I mean, when April is taller than them all, you kind of established that she's maybe like she's a tall lady. Anyway, we're not talking about films. Yeah, other times, I know, I went as the... We spoke about this in like our first episode. He dressed up in the rags. I went as that character on a night out. Mm. Not rag man. So we could do, if you do the reference to... Do you, have you ever seen the film Interview with Vampire? Yeah. Well, we both have long hair. So, back to the name thing, because I'm bored of that. What the fuck? <laughs> I was thinking, if we kept these here, yeah. we could be two Viking mugs. Okay. Because it's two mugs yeah. of Viking decoration. Yeah. Long hair. Yeah. Mugs. Yeah, I know. I know what you're referring to. Never quite sure. Sometimes I have to explain stuff to you. Not really. To get my onions out there, I do. <laughs> And it's good that we have these mugs. You know, tall, slender, athletic, with a big, big handle. <laughs> Slightly shorter and fatter. With shorter a... and stocky. <laughs> with a skinny handle. Yeah, it's because of your sausage fingers. Yeah, because your sausage fingers. Not particularly sausage like. They are. They're not. Sausage is short and fat. Well, you're, you're a chipolata, yeah, yeah. What? 
No, Chipolata would just be like that. That would be my entire finger. Would be Chipolata. There's nothing sausage related to my fingers. They are. They're short and stocky. They're not. They're slightly short fingers, but they're not stocky. They are. They're chunky monkeys, mate. They're not chunky. They are. They're nice, slender and athletic. No, they're not. Look, they're mine. Are not. See. You're, you're looking at yours. They're thicker. Your fingers are thicker than mine. No, they ain't. What are you on? I'm looking at them right now. No, hold it that way. No, hold it that way. No good to us looking, is it? <laughs> oh, do that one. Sorry, would that be easier? You got thicker hands. No, what are you getting on about? I mean, my eyes work. I'm not sure they do, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a strong hand. <laughs> Strong hand. So yeah, we've got we could call the show two Viking mugs, two VM. Okay. Two of them. Two of them. Two VM. Two VM. Two Viking mugs, but not necessarily. Anyway, it'll be playing long. That's why I've got the old. I put the top knot in here. Yeah. But it's a bit floppy. I tried to make it too big. A floppy one. It's going to always be floppy on on camera. It's not really on the top though. Best I could do at the time. It's going to make a mess. Get all my hair tangled up in my hairband. Oh, I hate when it happens. Just get on with life. I don't know how. I don't know how to get it. Best thing to do is twiddle it and then wrap it around itself. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, I don't know if you can see it. It's in a new path in life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Let me clear up. I need to take your stuff out. I thought we could have not the, the, the two top knots, one beer gut, because it's not great and it takes piss out you a little bit. And if you ever lose that beer gut, it won't really make much sense. Not now. Look, no beer gut. What? That's not gut. That's my diaphragm there. What's the bit underneath that? The round belly bit? Yeah. I'm not going to get my belly out on the camera. No, you don't need to get it out. Anyway, so I thought, for one, I thought the progression could be just two top knots. Two TK. Oh, yeah. Two TK. Yeah, two it's TK. It's a lot quicker. And you can have it like, like I, the, I put a question mark in the, the thing before, like two TK, as in the word two T. Oh, two TK, yeah. Two, oh, you, two TK, you can speed it up like that, make it more cool and hip and happening. And then I had an idea recently. Why don't you, why don't you do two TK? Yeah, yeah, that was one. Oh, that right. was the start, two TK, yeah. to abbreviate it. Because when we get sponsorship deals, we're going to have to have codes, like use the, two t use the code. Yeah, all right, yeah. Two TK. We're going to get sponsored, that's cool. I mean, <laughs> one day, we're going to try and not have to work a normal job somehow. Yeah, I know. That right? means getting sponsorship deals. We have to have some views first, though. Yeah, I know. Let's work on the views. Please view us, please. And then I thought we could call the show, Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. Why Yeah, Yeah, Yeah? Well, ordinarily, when I talk about something that you've never heard of, yeah. you'll go, Yeah, 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 of course, like you have heard of it. <laughs> and I thought, that's funny. But then I could also call it Why, Why, Why as the abbreviation, because you do stuff and I'm like, Why, Why, Why? <laughs> so the name works on so many different levels. Okay. You got, or yeah, of course, or OFC, but obviously you don't know what that means. I do know what it means. I just <laughs> didn't expect it to come from you. So because I say something, hip. Oh, God. You don't and then understand it. It throws me more. I expect it to come oh, from my see. daughter, not you. Exactly. But, you know, I'm allowed to use slang. I like um, OMW. That's an alarm. OMG. What was that? Wheelbarrow. When did you get a yapper, by the way? The thing that yaps at me as I walk through the gate in the building in the house. Oh, the little one? Yeah. It's lived there forever. Oh, is it? Yeah. Was it Jet Russell? Chihuahua. 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 What the f 
Bloody hell's that. That's how you spell Chihuahua. All right. Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Yep. Speaking of, sorry. It's just a wheelbarrow in need of oiling. Who's pushing it? Someone. Can't see through walls. Not actually Superman. Don't have X-ray vision here. Okay, yeah, I've got text. Speak text, haven't you? You can t- talk to it. Yeah, and sometimes it works, and sometimes and other times it comes out with, "Don't worry, I'll be round to the board next week." Time gone. For- yeah. Yeah. But hey, Google. Is yours Google? Don't start talking to Google. We'll, do- we'll probably mess up the show. I could be like, "Hey, Google, turn face like left off." <laughs> See, that's the problem. It doesn't always work. <laughs> is it Google that does it, though? Yeah. Hey, Google. It's not going to talk to you, is it? Why? I don't know what you're saying. I don't know if you take the piss or just because of my voice. Both. Hey, Google. Turn face light left off. That's why we say, hey, Google, turn all the lights on. Now, what I do when I come in is I'm like, hey, Google, I'm in the studio. One light, come on! Well, that was that was off, wasn't it? Normally, that that's the command. So that's the command to turn all the lights on. Obviously, I'd set that one <laughs> off. And you say, "Hey Google, I'm finished in the studio." Turns them all off. Yeah, that's all of them, but it didn't turn all of them on. No, because they were already on. That wasn't. No, but that one's. There's something wrong. These two aren't signalling properly. Okay, well, we so the Wi Fi is playing we, up at the minute. Anyway, hey Google, I'm in the studio. Thank you. Hey Google, <laughs> turn the face lights one and two on. <laughs> Easier to talk to it, and you're not making a fucking noise <laughs> like that. Hey Google, turn the face lights on. <laughs> Can you be quiet for a minute? Just take a deep breath and try sure. not to breathe. Stop your rooms. No. <laughs> hey Google, turn face light right on. Thank you. Uh... Hey Google, turn hair light one on. <laughs> I'm telling it to, but it's not working for me. Hey Google. Turn hair light on. Hey Google, (laughs) turn the other hair light on. (laughs) Sorry, I didn't understand. Hey Google, turn (laughs) hair light one on. Hey, right. Hey Google, (laughs) turn front light one and two off. Yes! Only took 20 turns. It worked! Perfect. Oh, God. Thank you, Google. You're very welcome. Don the man. <laughs> Please tell hey, me Google. That. What's my name? Your name is Fucktard. <laughs> <laughs> Must have set that up a few years ago. Forgot about it. <laughs> hey, Google. Am I pretty? To me, you're an 11 out of 10. Oh, thanks. Should have put the microphone on the Google. I know, should have done. Wonder if that'll pick it up. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Fucktard. Hey Google, am I pretty? Well, I just looked up perfect on the internet and the only definition they had sounded just like you. So oh. I'd say a definitive yes. It's a good Google, this one. Ask Google, do you tell lies? <laughs> hey Google, is Matthew pretty? According to Wikipedia, Matthew Langford Perry is an American-Canadian actor, comedian, and producer. Hey, Google. He gained international recognition hey, as Chandler Bing. Stop. <laughs> no, we've mic'd up Google. See, ten minutes of recording was enough for your attention span there. No, sorry, it's just the power went out again. Went out in where? The brain? No, the hat, black mouse. Your black house. My house. Oh. Black house. Yeah. So. So we just established that Google commands. I hope that's going in the show. Blues. Yeah, it should do. Wonder what got picked up or not though. Interesting. 
Can you not just add it? Yep. It's nice when it's authentic. It's like, it's nice when you have actual things there as opposed to adding in. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need to get some words like an MDDO studio banner or something. Oh, what about if um, what about if you look at getting a um, you know like the fluorescent light ones? If I was to see if I could, neon. yeah, if I could sort something out. Small amount of money, won't it? Won't cost as much because if you know the right people. What neon sign makers? Yep. Well, I suppose I could learn to blow glass. Well, if you know there'd neon, be another. There'd be another way to do it. By an M, by D, by D, by an O, by an S, by a T, by a U, by a D, by an I, by an O. No. Oh. Well, you could you could make if you could make the word out of anything like the met if you've got any spare metal around. Yeah. I have. Remember that light like, lights told told you about I got off um, Timu. So just make the framework and then wrap some lights around it. Not wrap lights. It's it's a full beam light. It's like a neon. It looks like a, from straight on. It look, it looked like a neon. It's an idea. Would be a budget way to do things. Oh crap! You know I've got right like a five year old, yeah. Cool. So, do you want to do the MDDO or the studio? Remember, they've got to be big, bold letters that get picked up on camera. But other than that, you go wild. Whichever, um, which do you want to I'll do, do? I'll do the MDDO. Is that because it's got less letters in it? Indeed. Like I said, I've got to write like a five-year-old. It's only two letters extra. Extra is extra. Okay. No rush. Take your time. We'll do like a montage of us drawing, like... Put the Rocky music to it or something. Like, ding, 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 oh, have ding, you got to be like bubble, like how big, bold, whatever you want. Shape. Single line or can do any shot. Any... Well, a single pencil line isn't going to be very no, visible. No, on no, camera, okay, is it? okay, okay. Got this. But you got a B three three there. Look, do you want to practice one? We're gonna do. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the countdown. So, And there's a, a thick pen if you want to use that as well, once you've done it. say if you can't draw knots draw lots ready for the unveiling we're going to stand them up there on the back and that's going to be the thing for now on so obviously you've got the mddo so you've got to put yours up first Magic. You can't even see it. It's right there. You you telling me that after all that? Because <laughs> I still, I know you're a cunt, so I I had a backup. No, oh, did you? Yeah, come in. Oh, for God's sake! That that's our branding, now. That can't be it. What's wrong with my studio? <laughs> you don't like my studio? It's great. Well, you don't have to be here if you don't want to be here. Uh... You don't like my studio? <laughs> That's it. All right, no. He's got the... No, no. Tell a lie. This ain't it. No, it's not. It's bigger. Run the wrong way. No, look. Studio. Happy? A few moments later.
Oh, I, oh, I'm only joking. There you go. No. Is it? It's not. Signatorily. Studio. No. That's what you're getting. I'm afraid. No, it ain't. That's what we did. That's not. You did another one. I did not do another one. You That's did. it. You did another There's one. There's plenty of options there. I know. I mean. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now you've mugged me off for this one. This is the other. I, I tried to do MDDO first, and this is what I come up with. Going for the paper. I came up with MCCO. No. no I came up with. Of course, cunts win. <laughs> OCCW. Of course, cunts win studios. So that was leading me on to a new topic. You got another one? Don't have another one. You have it there. Fucking play along. Damn it. I was going to have a big old chat about. Oh, God. Ghosting. Ghosting. Ghosting and communication and just a general topic for getting through life, really. I thought something that actually the kids might be interested in. Ghosting etiquette. It's, it's something you might have a, an opinion on. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought it might be. You are the master. Well, ghosting? <laughs> yeah, just... I think your ghosting and my ghosting are two different things. A wall. Going at going AWOL. I don't do ghosting. I mean, you put me on mute the other day. I didn't. You purposely ignored me. Yeah, I did. It's called ghosting. Uh, no, I said to you though, I'm at the gym now. I'm going to do some exercise. I'm not going to reply to any more of these messages. And then continued for about another three to reply. But then I stopped. Ghosting is, as far as I'm aware, is when someone just doesn't reply. And the other person who has been the ghosted, the victim. He's like, well, what's going on here then? I don't really it's know what's going it, it on. Depends. Maybe they just didn't get my message. Maybe there's a network error. Maybe they opened it and they got so busy with their important life that I want to be a part of. So what I'll do is I will wait a little bit and then I'll send them another message just to nudge them. Say like, hey, I'm still here. I know you forgot about me, but that's okay. We can move on with it. Um, and I just, and, they, and I, in my head, they're going to be like, oh crap, I forgot to message them back. I best get on that right away. Or, you know, like women, they get hundreds of messages, all those dick pics they get all the time. And my important messages, they do want to talk to me. They're just like, they, I, I'm so far down the list, they don't know where I've gone and they can't find me. So if I just send them another message, I'll be back at the top of that inbox and they'll go, ah, oh, there's that guy I wanted to talk to. And here he is, now I'll talk to him. Of course. That's what I understand ghosting to be an issue with. That's a purpose thing. Ghosting is when you completely yes, it's ignore someone, don't, not to talk to them again. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not ghost as in don't talk to them for the day. Or you, well, you, you, know. you can temporarily ghost somebody. Ghosting is just not talking to someone or not replying well, ghosting back. Ghosting is probably like you were talking to someone and then you just stop altogether. Yeah, so that's it. Without saying, I'm busy for the next no, 10 no, hours. No, 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 no. Ghosting is when you completely take them out of your life. That's the, you, that, the highest that's, form of ghosting for no, sure. No, because not, 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 not just not replying. Is... No, no, no. I think you're on about like deleting someone. No, no. Ghosting someone, just completely just ignoring them, never talking to them again. If you don't reply to someone for a day, that's not ghosting them. It is if they're expecting you to talk to them. What? But if someone texts you, it isn't a writ, uh, isn't a written wall. You have to reply. Only when you're a cunt. <laughs> So if I send <laughs> some, if I send someone a message yep. that I am expecting an answer from, they should reply. Is there a law against it for that? No, but if they like don't so. reply, yep. then I will then know that that person doesn't reply, and I just won't bother talking to them again. <laughs> so you ghost them because they might no, no, have I, actually been busy. No, doing no, something. because chances are I don't have to ghost them because they don't reply, so they don't actually message me. What the what I'm saying is I won't make the effort to talk to them anymore knowing that they don't really care enough to reply to my messages. I mean, obviously there is, you know, if you want to talk to someone, you will talk to them, obviously. Exactly. But there are some situations where you can't, you're not able to. But it's a temporary. Yeah, so if someone's reply, reply to you in four hours' time, they, you know, they could be at work, you know, most places... Yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. So because they reply to you for four hours, you're not going to talk to them again? No, no, because they, when they get a chance, they reply. That's what I'm saying. Oh, because you like you you say the thing of like don't read the message or open the message. 
if you're not in, no intention of replying... That's the higher point. echelons of being a decent <laughs> no. communicator. Yeah, but the, unfortunately, the shit thing is, sometimes when you open your phone, or your, or your or you, or nowadays, mm. Face ID, it will open, yep. and, and the message, and you, and you can read the message if you're doing something, but it, well, sometimes you can't always reply. But you say, don't I, read the message. I do not open a message unless I have time to reply to it. If I don't have time to reply I, to a message, I haven't <laughs> got time to open it. But sometimes you can't help it. Yes, you can. You can open up, and it, boom. What do you mean, open up? You can sometimes you just go like that. So look, this face thing. So there's all notifications there, yeah? Yeah, sure. Like so, and they're all on your screen. Yeah, so, the sure. moment, so you the unlock moment... your phone screen, and then you're in your phone's home screen. Yeah. You're not on all of those notifications all at once. Yeah, but it, they, you, it depends on how you've locked your phone. So if you've locked your phone and you're on WhatsApp. Sure, okay. Yeah, yeah. so you do that. So you come off, right? So you come off it. Notification comes through, or it, it's open. Now your phone's unlocked, yeah? Right. Yeah, okay, I'm, but I'm you had time thing. to go on your phone and unlock it, didn't you? Yeah, but then that's, if you've got a long message, you can't reply, you, you know, sometimes, and I always say, and if you have got a long message, I will say to the person, you know, I don't know if talking about No, 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 because you've ignored lots of my messages. What I'm saying is, <laughs> if someone's got a long message, but look, that I can't got... have time to, I would say to them, literally, I'll get back to you later. How many messages is on my phone? Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing, I can't have unread message badges on my phone. <laughs> If someone sends me a message, it's polite to reply. Yes, it is, but sometimes it is. No, I have, look, I mean, I would show you on my phone as they're recording me. I have zero recording message me. tabs. <laughs> zero notification badges on what my phone. What about emails? They're all opened. They're all opened? Is this going to give you anxiety then? I've got 22,700. I don't understand how you can have that many. <laughs> 53 missed calls. It doesn't 53 cause... missed calls? It... Oh, there's 53 voicemails I haven't listened to. Mate. If I get more than one voicemail, I'm on there deleting it. I know, I just don't understand. I get that now you're causing yourself anxiety by having 22,000 unread I don't, emails. It doesn't bother me to have 22,000 unopened emails. I know, I'd imagine most of them are spam. There's no way people communicate to you via email. <laughs> except you got to think it's over time. It's over time. It's yeah, it is. But at the time when I get an email, I go, oh, I've got an email. I open it. I don't want it and I delete it. No. Nah. I couldn't have 22,000 unread messages. I mean, not that I couldn't have it because it would bother me. I just, I, w I can't get, I wouldn't get to there. If I'm at work all day long and I look at the end of the phone, I've got five emails. Mm -hmm. I'll open those five emails and I'll possibly That's delete That's over them. three or four different email accounts. Sure. I've got 20 different email accounts. All right. I have no unread emails. <laughs> when I used to be on Tinder and I would be possibly talking to in excess of 30 or 40 women at a time. <laughs> Thirty to forty women at one time. What do you not? What, how do you use it? Oh, listen, I hate that fucking app. I, I, I hate it. Tinder's an example. Tinder, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever the messaging system is. Yeah. Right. When I've got no, 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 they're different. You you can't put Tinder and Instagram together the same. Well, thing. you can because when you're single, they're all the same thing. They're all for men. Well, no, they're Tinder's all directed app. at you finding someone. Although. Yeah, you know, but so is everything else when you're a but single then male. Inst Instagram. It, if I was single with Instagram, you can't I wouldn't even tell be... people a fucking real one Instagram half the time. No, that's why you talk to them briefly to find out. Within a few lines of conversation, you can tell what they are. And the point is, when I had. Third, well, so even take all right. Ignore all the normal social media. Tinder on its own. Eh? Any dating app. All right. All right. You go through. What's the point of me able to go swipe, 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 swipe? If you only talk to one person at a time, because invariably that one woman has got six billion messages sent to her. So even if she did like you, there's a slim chance she even got to your messages. Tinder's slightly different. See, that's, that's, that's what I used to hate about, I used to hate about them because they expect you to come up with some amazing message that they grabs do, yeah. their attention. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they're like, don't I just say hi. I hate it. I know. They would say, don't just say hi. Mine is, well, I'm not going to waste my intelligence writing out a message that is succinct and poetic but not cheesy. All that sort of stuff for you just to ignore it. Yeah. Why would you, you say hi first, prove that you're actually going to have a conversation with me and then I will be interesting for you. But it doesn't work like that. You know that doesn't work like that. But dating should work like that because... I know it. maybe it should, but unfortunately it doesn't. Because it's physical first, personality second. You don't go up to an ugly person on a night out and the off chance they've got a hilarious personality, do you? No. Even women don't do that. They want the good looking nah, guy. No, actually, but women, they, the thing is that they could go, like, without being thinking, this is the, there's a, there was a podcast about this where 
a woman could basically, she could go out every night and be, be treated by a bloke every single different night. Of course she could. Yeah. A bloke can't do that. It's an old piece of knowledge. Yeah, I know. But a bloke can't, is not a, as capable to do that. Jim Jeffries says very amusingly in one of his comedy stand-ups that being a stud is incredibly hard work. And he said, well, to be a stud, you have to be well-dressed, well-groomed, well-read, well-spoken, have a good job, have lots of money, be polite, be able to dance, be punctual, mm. be all these things, be better than every other man out there. Yeah. And to be a female stud, you just have to be there. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Men will take home anybody at the end of the night. Any woman can go and get laid. She says to a man, you're coming home with me. If she's a 2 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10, the only slight difference is what time of night it might be. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. You know, you'd go, no, I'm not going anywhere with you, love. At 2 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, when you haven't got someone nice, you'd be looking around for that woman, being, look, let's go. Don't let my mate see, but we're going to go home and have sex. Well, as we both know from working different venues... You could you be see it firsthand. You see how the night goes, and then you see towards the end. And you pick off all the weak ones at the end, right? Oh, you're a dickhead. <sighs> the lefter. <laughs> no, it should be your job, I think. Just go out to the office and do something. Yeah, of course you have gone on here. Yeah. I actually did very little. When I was working, I was working. That's the one thing that a lot of people don't seem to believe. Yeah, I know you do work. You did work. When I worked at night, I'm not really. People used to say I was unapproachable. And if they know you, yeah. Yeah, I've, exactly. I've had that a few times. Yeah. From you about you, yeah. But I'm the friendliest person in the world. I mean, no, not really. <laughs> like that Facebook thing, the bloke, I'd like to be your friend. <laughs> that was a fake fucking I, know. <laughs> I was like, Do you not really I was know? like, I was like, don't be so mean. I know. <laughs> and I, I, I was like, fuck off, cunt. <laughs> what sort of message was that? I've come past your profile and I'd like to see and like to be friends. Like, all, I, all was missing was I'd like to pay for your things for you. <laughs> all that was missing was, do you want to just put all your bank account details down here now? They're getting very inventive now with scams and things like that. It's I don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen on Instagram, so Instagram, the one where they're saying, "Oh, fit, put in a hundred pounds, you get fifteen grand back." Or things like this. That's not that inventive. No, 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 no. What it is to get this though. Do you know how they're making it seem authentic now? These these fuckers will hack your account, yeah? And in order for you to be given your account back, they yep. say you have to upload a video to or, or, uh, yeah. send us a video saying that this person's account is amazing. I gave them 100 quid. They've transferred to 15. It's changed my life. This is legit. No scam, no nothing, yeah? Yeah. And they let it go on for 24 hours. So if you let it stay on for 24 hours, I'll give your account back. That's what they're doing. They're not conning you. They're just bribing you. Yeah, well, it is a hack, isn't it? You're hacking your profile. If you've got, yeah, if you've got an Instagram thing, yeah, right? If you've taken, you know, some people take it and they've grown it to how many other thousand, hundred thousand, whatever. Yeah. And they get hold of your account and you don't want to lose that account because it took you five, six years to build. They are, you know, they're clever. Yeah, that's why. And I watched a, um, a YouTube video on the, the pitfalls of like relying on, on the channel. So if you rely just on YouTube for your income or just on Instagram for income or just on TikTok for your income, you're a dickhead. But basically they're saying the thing you need to do is the backup is have an emailing list. You've got to build an email list, which is essentially the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. So that if you have anything taken away, you've got all your followers' email accounts. You just say, look, guys, I've lost my account. Here's a new one. And they'll go and follow it. Yeah, yeah, I know. So but the other it, side of it is have backup accounts. But it's just the way it's going at the moment, obviously. You look at it and you think, and you can tell by, when you look at the video, at the end of it, you can see they did a face and you can see that you knew it's bullshit. And you knew that they're trying to do it. And it was just, you know, they have to give up that account. And it's fucking, I mean, for them it's invented because obviously they make money from it. You know, if they yeah, get... but I mean, if it was if a person's got a successful following, they know that they can build that following again. Oh, I know, I know, but it's not yeah. nice, is it? Like as I said, some people, it's not like so much of they're earning money from it. Say their Instagram, you know, they're, they're proud of what they've, they've achieved and whatever, blah blah blah. Yeah. And a lot of the time, you know, you know, it's on Instagram. So if it's not on your phone, I know people back up stuff, but sometimes you don't. You know, there's that silly thing where there could be that photo on there, there could be that, there could be that, and they might feel they're losing. You know, it's it's just something. Yeah. You can always you... download stuff. No, no, but if you've, if you've built that, spent that time and effort to build it through natural followers and things like that, you know, it's going to be a, a kind of, and then where they scam it, you know, and the people go, oh, my mate's just fucking put 500 pounds in and got 15 grand back. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go now do that. And they go, you know. I've seen a couple of people I know that they've, um, their, their, their profiles come up with, I just invested 100 in, in Bitcoin and it returned 10 grand in yeah. like a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I know how to trade cryptocurrency and I've just messaged them like, 
Are you okay? <laughs> I mean, have you been hacked? And they're obviously like, no, I haven't been hacked. I was like, oh, this is the hacked account. I'm like, well, I, I know how to trade cryptocurrency and what you're advertising is bullshit. Yeah. They're like, dot, 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 and don't reply. And then I messaged my friends on another platform. I was like, have you been hacked on Instagram? They're like, yeah, I've been hacked. Man. <laughs> Next on the show, if you could have an idea, it'd be lovely. I've been putting lots of contributions in today. Thank you very thank much. You. A little round of applause for Matthew. Your contribution has been the signs. Most of the conversation has come from from me. Has it? Yeah. We'll find out in the edit, won't we? <laughs> Fucking 14-legged octopus. We've done ghosting. Sort of. I mean, I don't think we ever really finished any of these topics. <laughs> we... Could elaborate on that, can you? If you don't mind me asking, it's just a weird. I could be completely spurting the wrong thing here. So, should we stay this is my dead dad's office? Yeah. Is my dad actually dead? Yeah, yes. no, no, he's dead. But what. This is going to sound really weird at first. No, there's a reason behind it. Weirder you go on about it. What, was his, what would his day to day wear, clothes wear? Like, what would he wear on a day to day basis? Like old man clothes? Shirt? Possibly. Hmm? Quite a lot. In the last 10 or 15 years of his life, it would either be a pair of jeans or a pair of work tri trousers for traipsing around the farmyard in. Mm. But like kind of shirt? Like a standard old man type shirt. Mm. Or a t-shirt. Or it was always cold, so jackets and sweaters. Mm. Yeah, but it was just, okay. Why? Huh? Why? Just, but I have weird things, feelings and thoughts. Right. You saw a ghost. <laughs>